passed from that 3 o'clock, or sorry, 9 o'clock position. C, meanwhile, has not claimed the 3 yet, so uh, he continues to lag behind economically. Fantasy bringing up more forces, and okay, and he does want to start mining minerals here. Uh, they're showing research going on at the physics lab, so uh, Yamato is going to come up shortly. It could be energy if he already has Yamato, but uh, I don't think he has the minerals to spend on, on something like that at this point. Well, uh, we'll see what C's going to do. Uh, Fantasy now mining at this base. Uh, Comsat goes off on it. So, uh, <laughs> now Fantasy going in for a big drop on top of this uh, <laughs> proxy factory from the beginning of the game. Uh, and uh, forces the factory to lift. I, I don't know if there was any particular point to that other than taking out that one tank, but uh, now C's trying to press in. I think he knows he has to deny this 9 o'clock base if he's not going to fall way too far behind economically. Uh, three battle cruisers, four battle cruisers out now. But uh, I, I think it's still not going to be enough. I think Fantasy is in, is in firm control of this game at this point. Uh, C has quite a few forces on the ground, but uh, he's not able to really do anything with those battle cruisers. And covert ops going down for fantasy, so fantasy is going to go for ghosts. And uh, it may be that he thinks he's far enough ahead at this point that he can just go for humiliation and try to nuke C. But uh, more interestingly, he may be going for lockdown, uh, which which I think makes a lot of sense at this point. We don't see lockdown very often. We. Uh, See it in some in some older games. Boxer famously used lockdown on a couple of occasions very well, I think. Uh, Yamato Cannon actually taking out a couple of tanks, so C may be able to push down this left side. Uh, I don't think it'll be enough to uh, claim an advantage for himself, but he has forced Fantasy back. So if Fantasy was planning humiliation, uh, he was uh, planning it too early, I think. A uh, lot of Goliaths coming out here, so he is going to try to uh, force those battle cruisers back. This is pretty a pretty good map for battle cruisers, though, just because of the uh, constricted terrain. Uh, something researching at the covert ops uh, it probably is lockdown. I think he is going to try to lock down those battle cruisers, um, which which is a very effective move because it uh, does you know take away their mobility and allow Goliaths to get right up on them and uh, rip them apart with uh, with those uh, Charon upgraded rockets. Uh, Fantasy is losing a lot of tanks to these battle cruisers, but uh, he's still ahead economically, I think. Uh, both players just mining from one base. Uh, C from that upper left and Fantasy from the inside five. Fantasy's actually running, running low on resources. Hopefully he has something in the bank, because uh, if he can't claim another base, uh, C might actually be able to come back. Uh, Ghost coming out now. <coughs> so, uh, we'll see whether lockdown ends up being effective. Uh, big siege line being formed here, uh, but I, I don't know what that's intended to do. Uh, some dropships coming in now. Uh, is he gonna just bypassing that battle cruiser, uh, taking a little bit of damage on one of the dropships? And uh, I'm not sure where he's gonna go. He's maybe gonna go all the way around and try to drop on this uh, on this top left base. Uh, dropping on the science facility for whatever reason. He's gonna, okay, he's gonna try to deny C the ability to produce more battle cruisers. Uh, and, and meanwhile, uh, control the ground on top of his base. Lots of tanks there though, so those Goliaths are gonna go down really fast. And uh, with Yamato cannon, uh, C is gonna be able to uh, take out those tanks. So not a very effective drop by Fantasy. Fantasy does have more forces coming up this side, and uh, those Goliaths trying to escape now, but uh, big siege line there. And there are a lot of battle cruisers out now. So uh, I guess I may have spoken too soon about the uh, efficacy of this uh, tech switch in, into BCs, uh, because it looks like, at the moment, it actually is working out for a C. So, uh, you know, it goes to show that C knows better than I do, but uh, <laughs> now in fantasy, it looks like it's totally mined out. So Fantasy has, has no resources at all, and uh, C just has, has the remnants of this top left base, but uh, you know, something is better than nothing. And uh, if it goes to a zero resource game, Yamato Cannon is, uh, is something that keeps replenishing and can be used to uh, snipe things at, uh, at, at great range, so uh, C is going to have the advantage in a uh, 
zero resource game with with all of these battle cruisers out. And fantasy keeps losing forces, so I, I guess uh, I have to say I think C is ahead in this game. I, I, I mean, brilliant, brilliant comeback by C. I think uh, several mistakes by fantasy here allowing C to get back into this game. Uh, Fantasy really needed to lock down an extra expansion and uh, keep that economically. Fantasy is now going to try distance mining. That uh, engineering bay is going to see it. I'm not sure what C will be able to do, but uh, he has enough forces that he can probably uh, go somewhere. Now we're going to see the ghosts come into action. Uh, they have not enough energy for something, but uh, eventually they should be able to uh, to do whatever they're going to do. Distance mining going on now. For, for both players, actually. So C, I think, is mined out as well. Yeah, C just has a couple mineral patches left. So this is a <laughs> this is a very exciting game. Uh, down to absolutely nothing. We'll see how long those battle cruisers can last. Uh, we'll see also whether either player... Oh, and C is going to land his command center there at the uh, 9 o'clock position. Uh, and uh, instantly building a combat station. But uh, if he can get mining there... Uh, he'll he'll be in the lead. Meanwhile, Fantasy is going to try to claim this position. A battle cruiser got locked down. Uh, we'll see whether C's able to capitalize it, uh, capitalize on it and go snipe that battle cruiser. Uh, <laughs> wow, uh, great, cra crazy back and forth game here. But uh, I think an another lockdown going down. But uh, unless Fantasy can actually move out and uh, take out some of these BCs, uh, the lockdown doesn't do anything. And he still isn't uh, building a command center there, so C is actually seizing a uh, significant economic lead now. He has actual mining as opposed to distance mining, and I think Fantasy is on the verge of losing here. So uh, C making a uh, very strong comeback and uh, playing very smart. Oh, and now uh, I don't know what those SCVs are doing, just uh, moving out to die for whatever reason. Uh, now the battle cruiser's moving in, they're probably going to Yamato something, uh, go for those tanks. Oh, and uh, two lockdowns now, but uh, again, uh, Fantasy is, is not moving in to finish off these lockdown battle cruisers. And every time he locks down, he, he loses something, loses a ghost, or he uh, loses whatever was getting yamato so uh, he, he needs to be capitalizing on this. Now he's moving in with Goliath, but he doesn't have enough Goliaths to deal with all those battle cruisers. He takes down one BC. And uh, now the remaining BCs, one of them Defense Matrix, are, are going to press in and uh, just finish off this left side force, right side force of Fantasies, Fantasy GG's. So, epic, epic ace match here. Uh, and you can see C is just on top of the world. Uh, great game played by C uh, and uh, proving me wrong and I, I think uh, probably proving most people wrong uh, by making a uh, very late <laughs> tech switch into Battle Cruiser's work. Uh, so, excellent game. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and this has been Hamilcar. I will see you later.